Little Chanel Parfum, Dior Sauvage Parfum. These guys just will not stop fighting. The Hatfields and McCoys. This is the Crips in the Blood. This is going to be the epic battle forever. The trio over here is now getting rounded out with the trio over here. Dior Sauvage Parfum is coming to the market September 2019, but your first impression is now. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuel, your style godfather. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you my first impressions of a new fragrance from Dior, Dior Sauvage Parfum. If you like this kind of video, cool, go ahead and subscribe, and drop a like down below. Shout out to the CIA. What's going on, you modern sexy savages, you sexy mother? Guys, got a first impression of a fragrance that's due to drop in September. None other than the Pure Parfum version of none other than Dior Sauvage. Yep, think of Blue de Chanel and what Chanel did with this. They gave us the EDT, the EDP, then the Parfum. Dior is doing the same thing, the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum. I'm gonna tell you, based upon my testing of the fragrance, these fragrances mirror each other in development. Think of the EDT of this of Blue de Chanel as the brighter of the two, the, as the brighter of the trio, the middle one is the one that more people loved and wore, and the last on the Parfum version, my favorite, is the more sophisticated, the more elegant of them all. It is honestly where I think the fragrance should have ended. Shout out to the CIA, one love FBI. If you wanna become part of the movement, make sure you join me on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content. Join me on that platform for things you will only see there. Details down in the description. The cult fragrance is still going to be the EDP. Fast forward over to Dior Sauvage and the EDT, what made it so popular was that quintessential bergamot note mixed with the sandalwood and the amber rocks and in there. That's what people loved about this fragrance. When we get to the EDP, I love the fact that they injected vanilla and amber into the fragrance and took out the bergamot note, kind of smoothed it out and made it a little bit more of a sophisticated, elegant fragrance. Well, guess what? The Parfum version mixes the best of both worlds. In the top, it gives you that bergamot note and a mandarin note. In the middle, a huge dose of that sandalwood. And then the base, we have tonka, vanilla, and frankincense, incense. Guys, I'm telling you, I am digging this fragrance. Yep, it takes everything I like about the original Dior Sauvage, takes the things that I don't like. I don't like that shower gel, overly dominant bergamot thing, but they've tuned the bergamot down, mellowed it out, put a little put a little mandarin in there to kind of take a little bit of the bite off of it, rounded it out with a nice sandalwood, and then gave it that Atonka, frankincense, and vanilla. Guys, I think we have a winner on our hands. What I'm not gonna say is the original EDT is gonna get kicked out of the Beast Mode Club fragrance. No, no, no. That is still gonna do exactly what it's doing right now. The most one of the most complimented fragrances out there on the planet for what it does, especially for younger guys. But for guys who are looking for a great, long-lasting, great smelling fragrance that may not be as cologne generic, beast mode kind of clubby, Dior Sauvage is kind of stepping into its own. Dior Sauvage Parfum, in my opinion, is going to do that. However, I will wait until I get my fragrance next week. The bottles are due to drop. The bottles are due to drop here next week. What I will do is I'll get my bottle, I'll test it for a week, and then I'll come back and make my full review on it and let you know what I think of it. But until then, do me a favor, let me know. Have you had a chance to actually put your nose on a sample? Have you put it on skin? Have you rocked it? Have you wore it? Love to see your first impressions. Let us know if you like it and let us know what you think and why. Style Godfather, yeah. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.